What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Big Brother Love Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj. This is Sam. Hi. And today we are on Black Lightning, Season 4, Episode 3, The Book of Reconstruction, Chapter 3, Despite All My Rage. So uh, Jefferson, I believe, is going to be dealing with his rage issues this episode. Um, he's yeah, still like going around um, injuring people. <laughs> And um, Jen's going off on her own fighting crime despite her mother's approval. Um, she can heal herself. She can take care of herself very well, but her mom's still worried about them because Jeff's not out there to watch their back. Um, Anissa, I don't know what Anissa's doing this season. I really don't. I don't see a story for her right now, but they got her going with this dude while Grace is still in her coma. But Grace turned into a leper and I guess she just kind of wanted to get away because that's not really Grace right now. So I don't know what they're doing with her character. She went up as Blackbird and had Lala and Destiny. Have, she told them not to fight in that parking lot because the homeless people need to build themselves up, you know, and get back on their feet. But I don't understand why she didn't just take them to jail. I really don't. I don't understand why she's enabling them to do it. She needs them to fight to bias. There's some bigger plan she has. You might be right. It might be that, but I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Jen needs to get herself together and stop looking at her as a hero. Instead, she needs to be looking at herself as in her future, like her, what she actually is. You know, like what I'm trying to say. Like she yeah. When we started the series, she was, you know, very serious about school. She had good grades. She was the queen of Garfield. And now it's like she's been through all this stuff. She's, she got these powers and she's accepted them after all this time. And now she just wants to be full superhero mode and doesn't really care about, She want, you know, she's more concerned with being lightning and not really concerned about being Jen. And I know she's lost Khalil. It doesn't seem like Brandon or TC and all that are around. So Maybe, and we haven't seen like Keisha that right. she hangs out with. So it's like she's not even connecting with anybody right now. It's just her parents and her family. And that's it. Like, and, and I think the therapist was telling that to Lynn, like, y'all don't have anybody outside y'all bubble. The only person Jeff really had outside his bubble was Henderson and Gamby, but Gamby, I consider family. But Henderson was his best friend. Now he's gone. Like, they have nobody outside their orbit. Really? It's yeah. just them. And then they don't always like to talk to each other because family can be judgmental, you know? Like, you don't always want to talk to your family about everything. So I, I think they suffer because they really don't have no outside connections. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like they've lost just everybody around them. But we'll see where they go um, and see what our characters are doing this week. I'm praying for them. They need to get better, you know, mentally. But um, full reactions are available on Patreon. Let's get started. One. Oh gosh. Oh, I thought that was her sneaking out. What? Dream sequence? He's in the home. I think this is a dream. This has to be a dream. Oh gosh, she's going to be in real trouble. If this is a dream that he's having, this is a real detailed dream. If, I'd be really surprised if this wasn't a dream, but I feel like he's just kind of visualizing himself being powerless against the bias. Yeah, I feel like this is a dream. he's just visualizing it because my dreams do not be this detailed. They'd be blurry. Yeah, this is definitely a vision. It's always the same dream. Okay. Yeah, this is a dream. What do you think they mean? You're the one with the PhD, you tell me. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way that was real. Black Lightning's back. Yeah, the end just confirmed it. Things aren't like before. Before what exactly? Before the Freeland conflict. Before I, I put everybody in danger, before my best friend died. Is that what you want to hear? Your best friend wasn't in your dream. Your family was. Stop deflecting and tell me what it means. I like her. The man that I was. Me too. He thought he could 
change the world. Nah. This. This is the way of the world. People placing bets through these phones, feeling like they at an event with no crowds to track us. You care to explain yourself? No, look what Black Lightning did to me, man. I'm a <laughs> now. I didn't ask you about that. I asked you about why you killed a kid. Right. It got Blackbird's attention. Now I'm gonna ask you one more time to explain yourself, or we gonna play a little game called Trick to Crip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't whoa, whoa. get up and leave. I, 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 was, I was just protecting your interest, man. It, 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 the kid was just collateral damage. What? It was nothing personal. It was just business, brother. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Killing him is business. Couldn't even let him get a word out. Well, you deserve it. Shouldn't kill that kid. Yeah. I'll come back for you. Don't nobody condone killing kids. Another one added to the list. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. He is. Give him a minute. <laughs> you know you gotta bend down and get him. Girl. Lynn, what is going on? Yeah, so I'm glad Jeff C is seeing this. This must be a, a ability though. You see her heart. Lightning's powered in water. Have you lost your mind? I think I understand physics. And I'm using them to heal, no sparks. I want to understand Jen's rate of recovery. Asking is too difficult. I need to study the variables under controlled circumstances. Gotcha, gotcha. Going out, getting the crap beat out of you. That's a controlled circumstance. What is wrong with you tonight? The more I know now, the better prepared I can be for future attacks like Gravedigger. I won't be caught flat-footed again, Jen. You're not like us. Okay, so what happens when your, your, your observations go too far? This is not about my addiction. This is about protecting our girls, Jeff. Ten years ago, you asked me to stop being Black Lightning. I When's did. he gonna stop bringing that up? Hypocrisy looks good on you. I'll <laughs> stop when you put the suit back on. They really swapped roles from where they started. And now I think they're seeing where both each other are coming from. This so-called superhero what? known as Lightning is touted as a savior for her role in the Freeland conflict. But should that give her and Meta's like her carte blanche to terrorize our streets? What? I hope this exclusive video shared with us by a concerned citizen will provide transparency into the damage superheroes wreak across freedom. Girl. But don't take my word for it. Damage as in a in car window. I served this community 40 years. Now I can't afford to rebuild. Yes, Freeland may have its fair share of crime, but we can't let the cure be worse than the problem. <laughs> Becky from the blood. Not her turning the TV news. off with her finger. That ain't what happened. We saved those people. <laughs> I don't doubt it, honey, but lightning caused a considerable amount of property damage. Mom, are you kidding me? That's caused uh -huh. way more damage than me over the years. Yeah, but edited news like that, you can't fix. What? They're calling me lethal lightning. Jane, you are a little OC with your powers. I keep telling you, if you trained a little more, you have more control. Less property damage, no nicknames. It says the woman who leaves giant cracks in the street in Highland and dramatic. <laughs> you can just walk on this. You know what? Never mind. You know what? It's bad enough I'm arguing with your father. I don't want to hear it from you two. The only word I want to hear is an apology. Am I clear? Yeah, you're right, Mom. She apologized. <laughs> She's just like, you right. By a leap of lightning. That's not funny, Anissa. They're going to save lives and change the world. Now, how are we going to sabotage this? From what I've read, their energy output is lethal to humans and to metas. Are you confident they're safe for mass market? You think the prospect unwise. You're showing your age, Peter. They're capable of punching a hole through a tank or safely neutralizing a carjacker. Jesus. The ultimate peacekeeper tech. I don't know about that. George Ford. Did you see him? What was that? Did you see his name? George oh. Floyd. George Floyd. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. Wow. That was awesome that they put that in there. Wow. Yeah. Is it? 
It's nothing to worry about. Right. Look, I, I can't imagine what you're going through. He was the one in, in the fighting ring. You didn't get that from trying to get back. Oh, country, did you? Okay, he was trying well, to get out that I anger from, from his son. Like right? me? And get some money. You know, I'm moonlighting as a as a bouncer and occupational hazard. Hey, I won though. I'm dead. He's still obvious. I won though. Aww. Hey, babe, I really did something great for the community. You know, the news is just trying to say that Meta's only destroyed, but no, I built something, okay? She's such a good spouse. It's been so long, babe. I don't, I don't even know if you're still in there. Maybe if you are, please, can you give me a sign? Let me know we have a future together. Please. I love you so much. There's your sign. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 baby, please, no, 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 no. But she's a doctor, so she knows what to do. Oh, it's just her power. She's awake. Finally. Oh, my God, baby. Gave me like a mini heart attack for a second. God answered the call. TC's back. If that face means someone's in trouble or you need my help. Both. We don't like it. Bitch <laughs> edited footage from somebody to fit her narrative. You look mad. Please tell me you're not gonna... Stop, Stop doing those side effects. I need the unedited footage so I can clear me... So I can clear Lightning's name. Freeland deserves to know the truth. I'm about to give it to him. Come on, Val. You did work. Why don't you just let Sleeping Larson lie? And why do you care what people think about Lightning anyway? It's she's a public figure. Having you know, an alter ego. If meta hate like her spreads, it's gonna make all of our lives more dangerous. Just do it, dude. The worst thing he did was send her to Grave Digger, so this ain't that bad. Exactly. Commitment to duty has been drilled into me as a child. Both my parents proudly served in the military their parents before them my brother john left college and went straight into the army john did john diggle Why choose to pass she said her brother john went into the military diggle john diggle diggle her last name is stewart lynn stewart john stewart the green lantern and diggle just got his ring i need the crossover I'm trying to fit in where I don't belong again, aren't I? Just, just like I couldn't when I was young. This is the seed of my addiction, isn't it? My whole life, I've been trying to fit in where I clearly don't belong. And then mastering the fields when I did. Just be you. Say it aloud, own it. Own it. Just be me. Does she even know who she is? You know? I think so. She said, the things that I do fit in with, I master them. Like being a scientist, you know, helping people. That is what she excels at. Trying to keep up with her super family is not, is trying to fit in. She's trying to feel how her family feels, but that's not her role. And I think that's all everybody was trying to say to her, but they always come off wrong. Mm -hmm. So basically, in other words, she told her to stay in her lane. <laughs> like I just said. <laughs> but in a more professional, like a more, a better way that she would understand. This is a pig. Nah, this ain't for you. Nah, yo, Mr. Pig. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a big fella. Right. Don't fret. My filters. <laughs> they keep the combatant's identity secret. Fight. Or get out. Excuse me? I think Jeff might fight in this place because this dude's about to get whooped. Ain't no beating that dude. That dude is jacked. Right. Ain't no way. 
He looked like he went through hardcore training camps since the age of three. I got next. He's getting into the ring. Mayor Black, so glad you can make the trip at this late hour. Well, your bodyguard left me little choice in that matter. Not to worry. Here we turn over to nocturnal like <laughs> Why do you look like that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, that haircut. Of my dedication to Freedom's reconstruction program. And he's being sent here against his will. He said, your bodyguard didn't give me a choice. With the little one and patch of hair on see. top of his head. No, I'm done. It's going to need a visionary. <laughs> Big fat gorilla clip. Gorilla clip on it. <laughs> Freeland, the city's budget is already stretched as it is. There's no room for a new hospital. There is if you diverted Garfield's budget. It's no secret. Under Principal Pierce's leadership, it's seen shootings, death, and of course, its lawful occupation, which he himself... He's trying to hurt Jeff. Garfield is a pillar of the community. I attended there, as do my children and theirs, God willing. Accept my proposal, Mayor Black. And in no time, your kids will be moving on up to a private school in Metropolis where they'll finally get a piece of that pie. Negro, please. <laughs> you think I don't see who you are? Look, I know that we're supposed to publicly right. smile together. He woke. Show unity and chuck and jive. But there is no threat, no bribe you can offer that will make me tear down Garfield and Principal Pierce. I wouldn't say all that now. Don't let his haircut fool you. He woke, but uh, you, you ain't that powerful, dude. Thanks for the drink. Do you know what you drank? Right. Check what's in your drink, sir. You know what kind of person he is. You wouldn't be drinking anything he put in your face. Don't give it to crew money. Chain game. Alexander Wang. <sighs> I wonder how much they pay for all this music they use. Oh, lightning. Track your phone. You should really check your privacy settings. <laughs> What's this about? You sold footage to Rebecca Larson. What she aired about me last night was some straight up trash. Yeah. But you gotta believe me. I would have never given her the footage if I knew what she was gonna do with it. You saved me and my family at the Freeland conflict. And at the shop. You're my electric queen. Kid, I need you to show the public what really happened, okay? I'll post you saving all those people and I'll tag your social media. If. If I can get a selfie of me giving you a kiss. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, okay. Just a selfie then. But I feel like that can make himself a target if people think, oh, you know, lightning? Yeah, well, she gonna come save you then. But I hope so. I don't know. Maybe not, but kind of dangerous to associate yourself with a superhero. Yeah. Camby, what are you doing? I've set it at its lowest setting. About to shoot you some, I'll say. Practicing on the old suit. I'm a professional. Wow. And that's the lowest setting. That's not good for Black Lightning. Wow. Yeah. That's instant death. Watch your Come face. on, Jeff. Come on, bro. Bruh. Damn. He just snapped his nose back in place or something. He definitely has been training since the age of three. This guy, it's like no hits face him. He has too, way too much muscle. I wonder if Jeff's like pretending this is Tobias. Like that's why he's trying to take on a stronger fall. Come on, Jeff. Ah. He gonna be sore tomorrow. What is he trying to prove here? Come on, man. Oh, uh, just contain yourself, Jefferson. Contain yourself. Jeff got something to prove. There we go, Jeff. Come on. Where's the black lightning that been taking down thugs since the 80s, 90s, whatever 
however long you was a superhero, goddammit. Got to use some of them fighting techniques. Screw it. I might be old, but I can kick some ass. I think because of Jeff's powers, he was able to heal a little bit better. C considering the fact that if Jen can heal, I don't see why he can't. Still, I've never seen anybody fight like that. I mean, especially a principal. <laughs> you don't worry about it. Maybe the most impressive man I know, Mr. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah, but I almost forgot. Your paycheck. Mm. He's renting a place. So when you're ready to talk to child services, let me know. I'll put in a good word. Please do me a favor. You no gotta get fight. your face looking right. The yeah. kids need a dad. Garfield needs his teachers. So can't can't do none of that looking like that. This house okay. will take good care of you and your family. That's the Jeff I know. That's looking out, helping the people. You know, like there, he's getting himself back. I feel, and he made an outside friend. I'm proud. Progress. <laughs> Who are they from? Lynn, I need to get you a friend. Yeah, you know he likes to make grand gestures. And not Jace. He's actually wrong. <laughs> well, is your father inviting yeah. you for dinner tonight? What are you going to wear tonight? Oh, I have just the dress. That's the vibe. The only one that can make grand gestures. Oh, well, probably. <laughs> Now that you say that, that makes a lot of sense. I almost fell for it because I'm like, oh, well, now Jeff's about to repair his issues with Lynn, but you're right. That's probably is Tobias. I believe I have a reservation in the name of Pierce. But of course, your party awaits if you would follow me. Thank you. For me. Dr. Stewart. Okay, Please you're right. Thank you for joining me for dinner. Uh. Girl, don't act like I don't know you. <laughs> rather to find people to freely know about your family's extracurricular activities. When my sister was diagnosed with ALS yeah. at a very young age, she was cured through nefarious medical experimentation, but the nasty side effects became too much for her to bear. I promised a cure. Even though she's no longer with us, I'm a man of my word. You're a monster masquerading as a man. <laughs> I recently learned that a very close friend of mine was also diagnosed with this horrific disease. What do you really want? I don't have the time or the inclination for your mind games. No games. Scout's on. Even a broke clock tells the truth twice a day. Uh oh. Damn, beat me to it. Oh, I'm already late. Uh oh, he's about to head there. That's not going to be good. He thought she left a note for him. Mm-hmm. But that's good that he's doing there. There's that consequence. Whoa. That's cool. She's starting to be able to unmaterialize her body, so she'll turn into actual lightning. That's cool. Go! I control my narrative now. She's a young superhero, so I can actually see that happening. We're used to an adult superheroes, so this is definitely something a teenager would do. Start their own social media and... This is, turns out our license is still valid from last year. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Morgan here, I just paid him $20 so he could spend 20 minutes getting officially ordained. This is happening. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> in the process, I learned that witnesses aren't required in our state. Who you knew? What about your family, Anissa? Babe, their plates are full right now. And this is not about them. This is about you and me. I'm not in a hospital room, though. Right. Especially the hospital room. She spent her last year at Previous year. Baby, you are the love of my life. Will you be my wife too? Secret marriage is kind of sexy. I thought so. And I can't imagine spending my life with anyone but you, Anissa. So you're saying yes? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so do I. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Um... Well, by the power vested in me, I hereby pronounce you two wed. What? <laughs> Prize oh, my kiss. oh my god. Oh my god. You did it. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, hi. I'm 
running a little late. Reservation for Pierce. Your party's already. Uh oh. Set. I'll find her. Thank you. Oh boy. I would be inclined to find her. He might snap, but he needs to know this is happening. We don't end the episode, huh? Oh God. Of course. Right when it gets to the juicy part. He's just going to eavesdrop and listen. He ain't even going to confront them. I mean, he going to confront Lynn afterwards. Oh, boy. I think, he right. to, I think that he's trying to see if this is her, another one of his dreams or not. You know, this, this, there was no superhero fighting in this episode. The, mo the only fight scenes we really got was just a little illegal fight club that nobody suited up and fought this episode but um i'm starting to wonder what it's gonna take to get jeff to suit up like i, I don't know at this point. he'll be pushed until he actually feels like he needs to be um black lightning not that he should no wait sorry not that he doesn't want to be back lightning, but, and he knows that, he, that's how he feels, but until he realizes he, that he needs to be black lightning, that's how I meant to say. Yeah, he's, he's having some identity issues. It's like last season, Jefferson Pierce was shut out. He was, you know, demoted at his school. He wasn't principal. You know, he was locked up in Odell's facility, stuff like that. Like, he couldn't be Jefferson Pierce. He couldn't do anything. So he was basically Black Lightning all the time. And then he lost. He couldn't even save his best friend is how he feels. And so he gave up being Black Lightning as just being Jefferson. Like, they're all kind of going through some identity issues. Lynn feeling like she doesn't fit in and trying to fit in where she can. Then we have Jen who doesn't want to be Jen. She's opposite of Jeff right now. She wants to be superhero full time and not Jen. And she's so worried about her superhero ego and how people view her as lightning because that's who she is right now. She's being 100% lightning. And then Anissa, I don't know about Anissa. She's, she separated her identities last season where she's Anissa, she's Thunder, and she's Blackbird. And I thought Blackbird might be done after the war, but clearly not. Um, so I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like I'm not getting enough story for Anissa. Like, I don't feel like she has an arc right now. She Everything she's done has just been revolved around Grace, and that's fine. But I'm not understanding what they're doing with the character right now. I really am not. I don't know. Like, I really, I don't know. I don't really have much to say. I'm happy Grace is awake, and I'm, it's kind of weird that you're getting married without your family being there, but Hey, y'all do y'all, y'all. It's all about y'all happiness. I've been there day and y'all marriage. Good for y'all. But again, I feel like they're not doing much with Vanessa at all. I felt like they should have got married at, at their home instead right. of that. You know? I guess she was probably just excited because she'd been away from her, you know, for a year. But, you know, I, I get it, I guess. I mean, it's fine. I, I mean, I just, but I just, like I said, I don't know what they're doing with her character this season. Like, she don't feel like she's doing anything. Grace about to die. You think Grace is going to die? Yeah, with that I name. Um, I disagree. I don't think they would have done all this to kill her character off. Nope. If they were going to kill her character off, they would have did it at the end of season three. No, listen. They're going to shoot her with that new gun that they made, and then Jeff's going to realize he needs to suit up. That's interesting. I didn't think about that, but Grace don't suit up. As a superhero, she doesn't even really. I know, but her. why would they shoot her? If you refuse to, if you're a meta, and you're in your record, you're docked as a meta. Oh, you're saying the hospital might have flagged her as a meta. Then they're gonna want you to be trapped, like the new chief and police said. And if she refuses to be trapped, she can get shot. No, that's not how that works. They're not going to just shoot you because you refuse to do something. They can't do that. That's illegal. That's like them saying, oh, I'm going to shoot you if you don't get the COVID vaccine. Can't do that. Or 
if you if you're sick and you don't go get COVID tested, I'm gonna shoot you. You can't do that. Like they can make it mandatory, but like it would more so be like they can't kill you because you don't do that. They can like throw you in jail, maybe fine you. That's like if you got COVID right now and you go around other people, they can't shoot you for that, but they can lock you up. Anyway, back to this family. Uh, this episode, even though nobody suited up, I liked it. I really did. It was very character driven. And we kind of got to go into the minds of everybody. Jen? Like, I agree with what's his name? Computer guy. TC. EC. I was going to say PC. Let me get you a book PC. so you can write these names down. Because yeah, especially for Hunter Hunter. Anyways, I think he's right. She doesn't know what the toll that taking that going up into the sky and taking that energy is gonna have on her body. I think something's gonna happen that's gonna make her think about her future, her as Jen, and not just lightning. I forgot about that. Uh, I believe in the comics, Jen can actually manifest herself. Her whole body can turn into lightning. It's as if she's like a moving lightning bolt. Like, and that's kind of what was happening. And I think like she'll be able to like go through like, like for example, she might be able to zap herself through the power line and travel through it. Like she can actually be electricity. Like, like that one episode on Supergirl. Yeah, like Livewire. Yeah, I think she'll be able to manifest herself like that. And I think like how we've seen, I believe bullets went through her last season, like, she can make her body basically intangible. And I think I think not only is going into the sky helping, but the stuff that happened with her in crisis, like when the sky went red and the, light, the lightning was coming down and she disappeared. Like, I feel like that's all connected and that all, like her suit was absorbing all that power. And I think because of that suit Odell made, it made Jen a bit more powerful than she may have. What She was already powerful, but I think her having that suit affected her body and it's going to make her be able to like absorb more electricity making her more powerful than she would have been if he didn't do that if that makes sense like her her body's now used to like she's training her body to take on these high levels of electricity so your body's going to adapt and like yeah you can absorb all this energy but you gotta unleash it like you gotta let it out like otherwise it just builds up and like you have to to take you have to have training to be able to control because she's they're making her seem like she's hurting a lot of property. Right. Jeff can only absorb so much before he has to let go. Like he wasn't back in season two, he wasn't even able to drain uh Jen from all the electricity she had on her. And she wasn't able to control. Remember, she was having like those bubbles and like her body was glowing, like. She couldn't control him. She has a better grip on him, but I think it's going to start to manifest itself in a different way. And I think we're going to see her full lightning body. Like, that'll be really cool. A um, couple moments in this episode when Jeff was like, for example, in the dream secrets, when he had his like body light up, I thought he was going to shoot black lightning, like actual black lightning. Like, I'm hoping that he gets to a point where he's very powerful, especially because it's the last season to where he shoots actual black lightning like he's supposed to. Like, I don't know if you remember Young Justice, but that was like one of the examples when he actually has his black lightning when it's actually black instead of blue. So like, I would love to see that. And I hope we get to that point. Yeah, because, you've been talking about that since last season. Yeah, because he like, he, I feel like they nerfed him for this in this show. Like, I feel like he can be so much more powerful. Like, I feel like he could be a little bit more on par with Jen like I know Jen had to be uh, they had to hype her up to be more powerful but I feel like he could still keep up or like he can barely use his powers without a suit like I don't like that like I feel like I don't know I feel like he should be able to do a bit more like yeah he should feel more free to move without a suit wearing him down and and like um What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, restricting his movement and power. And um, I'm also okay. kind of curious. In the first season, Anissa, when she used her powers and Jeff shot her with lightning before he knew who she was, she deflected it like it bounced off her body. I'm wondering if she can still do that. 
because they had the episode last season where we saw like the other versions of Jen, the evil version, and the evil version killed Anissa, but Anissa didn't try to, well, she didn't have enough time to deflect the electricity, but I'm wondering if they, if she's still able to do that or if they kind of retcon that. Like, say Jen has some massive freak out and she, like, I don't know, bursted energy out, like, and Anissa was holding her breath. Like, would she be able to deflect her or would she actually get hurt? Like, I wonder that. Because then they also had that moment last season when pain, and Painkiller was attacking and uh, Jen was able to hold Anissa and Jeff back with her powers. And I'm like, well, they had Anissa be able to deflect that energy. So I'm like, why? Well, I didn't understand last season why she couldn't do that. But I'm like, that was just some burning question. Like, are they retconning that? Is it only work if it's like being like shot at you? Like I, I don't know. I just kind of wonder how that works. Mm. Maybe we'll learn more. Lynn's trying to study Jen's powers, but at first I was like, "What the heck is she doing?" I thought that was a side effect, but mm. and her working with Tobias. I don't know where that's going to lead. I don't know what Jeff's going to do. I don't know. I need to see more. Like I don't. Like, I understand what's happening, but there's a bigger picture here, and I'm just not seeing it yet. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Overall, it was a good episode, though. Yeah. I liked it. Anything you want to add? Mm-mm. Well, I'm going to just see what they got in store for us next week and dissect it more then. I got to let some of the stuff process, so be sure to let me know what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe to Patreon for full and early reactions. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.